This is a leg workout. You're just going to need your timer to set as a stopwatch and a weight. I have a 15 pound dumbbell, but you can use whatever you think is most appropriate for you or whatever weight you have floating around. So set your timer on stopwatch to count down for 26 minutes. There are basically three different exercise moves, but we're gonna do them for fewer reps with a weight and then do them again for a higher number of reps without a weight. So the first one, you wanna go ahead and pick up your dumbbell and just hold it kind of right in front of you. We're gonna do a side lunge knee, back lunge knee. We're gonna do 10 reps on the, I guess we'll call it the left hand side. That's the way that's gonna stay steady. So you wanna step out to do a side lunge. And when you do these, you want to make sure you point your butt back, make sure that this knee isn't going over the toe. So side lunge, as you stand back up, bring that knee up to your chest. And then you're gonna lunge straight back, again, making sure this knee doesn't go to your toe, knee up to chest. That's one repetition. And if you can, try to make sure that you don't put your foot down in between those two different moves it'll really help for some um, extra stability workout. So you're gonna go side lunge, knee, back lunge, knee. You're going to do 10 of those, and then you're gonna put your weight down, and you're gonna do it again, 20 of them without the weight. So side lunge, knee up, back lunge, knee up. Then you're gonna switch sides. So grabbing the weight again, uh, doing your right side, so right foot stays planted on the ground. Side lunge, knee up, back lunge, knee up. I'm trying to bang your knee down like I just did. <laughs> 10 of those, and then drop the weight. You're gonna do 20 without the weight. So side lunge, knee up, back lunge, knee up. The next exercise is, oh, bridges, these are good. So I'm gonna scoot my mat over this way. Gonna grab your weight. Lay down on the mat with your feet planted on the ground. Put your weight on your hips, and you're going to do 20 bridge raises. So you can put your hands right here on your weight to keep it stable, and you're gonna lift your hips straight up towards the ceiling. And when you get to the top, make sure you squeeze those glutes, and you'll feel your hamstring tighten up and squeeze that as well. So that's one, two, three, four, and with these, you don't just want to like bust through the movement, really do a little bit of a hold and squeeze at the top. Make sure that you're using good form. So 20 like that. And then you're going to drop the weight and you're going to do 40 without the weight. So same idea, bringing your hips straight up to the ceiling and squeezing those glutes at the top. And then the final exercise is a one, two, three squat. You're going to do 10 with the weight. I'm going to skip my mat forward again, grabbing my weight, just holding it in front of me. If you have like a bag or something like that, you can also, you know, rest that like back on your shoulders, whatever you like better. So with these squats, I'm going to start with my feet close together. I'm going to squat down. That's one of three. <laughs> Step to a regular stance. So feet about uh, shoulder width apart. Squat down, come back up, and then go wide. Toes and knees pointed out a little bit come back up. That's one. So one of 10 repetitions. Then you can go the other direction if you want to the next time around. So close and squeezing your booty at the top. Regular wide. 10 of those. Drop the weight. You're going to do 20 without the weight. So same deal. Close, squeezing at the top. Regular wide back to center. That would have been one. So this is me starting rep two. That's it. See if you can get through the whole workout maybe two times in the 26 minutes. That's my guess. But see how many times you can get through it.